Okay guys, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sick of can openers. I'm sick of even thinking about can openers. Why am I even making a video about can openers? Who's gonna watch this, honestly? Like, I don't know, but let me just be real with you here. I'm not gonna, not gonna edit this too much. I might mumble. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my can opener story. So I've been on the hunt for a good quality can opener for a really long time. My parents had a really good can opener in our house. It was just a really old, might have been a KitchenAid, I think it was. It kind of was like the swing away, classic looking can opener. And it was my great grandmother's can opener. It wasn't that old. It was probably like 35 years old or something like that. It was a bit rusty, but that thing cut through cans like butter. It was a really good can opener and it still is. They have it. I wish I could have it, but you know, so good they don't want to give it up. So I've been looking for one for myself that was just going to do the same thing, open cans. It's not like I'm asking a lot, I just want it to open cans. But surprisingly, that is a really big request apparently. There's not that many good quality can openers out there. I've spent years having different can openers that have all broke or rusted away or stopped cutting, slipping off the cans completely. I mean, of course I made my own mistake by thinking that I could go to the dollar store and buy a can opener to begin with. I started at the dollar store because I thought, it's just a blade that rotates around the can and cuts it open. It shouldn't be super hard to make this. It seems like an item that could be at the dollar store conceivably and be fine. Not the case. I actually ran into so many issues. The dollar store one was crap. It worked for like a little while and then probably in a month or two, it started to rust and then it started to also just slip off the can. I'd get it to the point where there'd be like, you know, you picture this can there'd be a little bit cut open here, then it would slip for a bit, then there'd be a little bit cut open here, then it would slip for a bit. And I could never get all the way around the can to actually open this can. And it got to the point where I was cutting my hand, and I was pressing on the lid, trying to break it with the amount that was actually cut. So then I went to like Walmart or something and I got a can opener. This one was a bit more, it was probably three times the price of the dollar store one. And it still was junk. It was, they're all plastic construction except for the blade basically. And all of that stuff just kind of crumbles away. It doesn't last and it just feels super cheap. And more, most importantly, it just can't cut through a can. So I was pretty much resigned to, I was never going to find a can opener that was going to do the job for me mechanically. So I ended up buying this thing, which is I believe a Canadian invention and it's called a church key. So one side, is a bottle opener, right? You pop under here, pop the bottle open, and one side is a can opener. So it's super simple. It grabs onto the lip of the can here, and then you go like this, and it punches a hole in the can. But you know, like, I thought that I was stuck, that I was always gonna slip off a can with a crappy can opener, and I was gonna have to go all the way around each can to open it. And I was like, I'm gonna give up on eating canned food in general, because this is, this is a terrible existence. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a deep dive. And that's when I found this bad boy. This thing, I mean, the first thing you need to read is right here. Made in the USA. I've been honestly making this video for months. I lost the audio to the first one, so here I am again talking about can openers, but it's better because I had just received this item when I first shot this. This thing is called an Easy Does It can opener. It looks a lot like the swing away can openers that you see, the really traditional classic can opener. Now swing away, they're a good can opener. They're reliable. They were made in the USA, no longer. Because of cost, like every company seems to do, they shut her down, they moved it overseas where they could get it made for cheaper. And that was the last American made can opener. Until Easy Does It came along, they bought the equipment from Swing Away, and I, they might have even reopened the factory, but they definitely bought the equipment and they started manufacturing made in USA can openers once again. Now, if you see the packaging for this thing, they want you to know it's made in USA. That is like pretty much their entire marketing is that is the red, white, and blue last true can opener. It is made in USA and it comes from a time where made in USA meant something and they're assuring us that it still does and that this is a quality product. At the time I questioned whether this was just all marketing hype and whether this thing was actually going to be good. So I can tell you after four or five months of having it that has fully reached uh, its hype, that it has created for itself. It is a really good quality can opener. I've used it quite a bit. I make a lot of beans. And this thing, 
As you can see, it's got no rust on it. It's very good quality. I've treated it well, obviously. I try to make sure that I always dry it myself and then leave it on the drying rack. I don't ever put it away wet because rust is the thing that's gonna come for this first. And it's great. I'm very happy with it. It's a beautiful can opener, as you can see. It's very traditional. It's an all metal construction, except for these rubberized handles that they put on here. So it's more comfortable as you're using it, the grip. But other than that, every piece on this thing is steel. That's what you want to find in a can opener. And that's really hard to come by nowadays. This thing cuts open cans like butter. This thing mows down cans. I have a video here that I took of it opening a Campbell's soup can and it cut that thing open like it was nothing. And it's still been cutting things open like that for months and months since I've had it. Now, I do put product reviews on here. I put my Yeti review on here and I also have talked about this antenna behind me. I only review stuff that I think are going to be buy it for life purchases. I hate consumerism. I hate that we're constantly being sold the most high tech next option and we're constantly having perceived obsolescence, getting rid of the, the thing that was perfectly good or we're sold stuff that's crap and that's designed to fall apart. This is hopefully an antidote to both of those things. It's simple, it is back to the way that a can opener should be built and it hopefully is going to last a very, very long time. Now, it's maybe too much to expect something to perform perfectly forever without any sort of maintenance or anything like that because you know that's just not the way that things work. Everything's impermanent to a degree, but this thing is as bulletproof as they come. I would not recommend it if I did not think that it was a good value for its money. It is more than a dollar store can opener. I can't remember exactly how, how much it is. I'll put a link for it in the description. I think it's like 20 bucks. And that may have been an inflated Amazon price. That's where I got it from. But it is worth it. If you pay $20 once, and this is the can opener you have for the next 20, 40, maybe more years, that's way better than buying multiple, multiple big box store or dollar store can openers as they break and they break and they break. And it's also a much lower waste option, which is I think the best thing because I'm about this stuff for the frugality. I'm about this stuff. I'm looking for stuff of high quality and long lastingness, but that's also for environmental reasons too because I don't wanna fill up landfills with my waste because I buy junk. So hopefully, this can opener is something that you guys are interested in. I think it is awesome. My existence has been filled too much with can openers lately. My thoughts have been troubled too much with the quality of can openers. And because you know what? It's an example of the low quality of goods nowadays. Things are made cheaply. Things are not made to last. Things used to cost more money per item relative to income, but they were guaranteed to last longer. Now things are cheaper relative to our income, but it's junk and it constantly is filling up landfills. So I think this is something that we should be interested in. This is something that you should look to if you're looking for a good made in USA can opener. If you've never heard of Easy Does It, check them out. They're a pretty cool company. The red, white, and blue seems still true to the day and the quality at Easy Does It is proof to that. So if you wanna get one, I stuck a link in the description. If you ever find yourself looking for a good quality can opener, I think they're the ones to go with. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.